it's Adam. I'm back out here in McConnell's Mill State Park. I love this place, it's so beautiful. I'm right along the Slippery Rock Creek and right off the Kildu Trail. You guys can see here in the background what I'm here to see today. This is the McConnell's Mill Covered Bridge. It's one of two remaining covered bridges in Lawrence County. They think that there was around 20 at one point in time. Most of them have either gone to rot, uh, they've been burned or damaged somehow and they had to be replaced. This is one of two remaining. The other is up in New Wilmington. We'll check that out a little bit later. But we're going to get up here by the mill. Uh, you can see the overflow dam right here and the bridge in the background. We'll get a closer look and check this thing out. Here we are at the McConnell's Mill Covered Bridge. This bridge was built in 1874, renovated in 2016, new roof, fresh coat of paint. She's looking great. This bridge is unique because it uses the Howe Truss system. The Howe Truss system used crossing X's of wood with iron support rods. They could use green wood on this bridge and then come back a year or two later and adjust the iron rods to accommodate for the wood shrinking. There are only four remaining Howe Truss bridges in Pennsylvania. This one is the longest at 96 feet. It is 15 feet wide, has a clearance of 10 feet, and can hold seven tons. It does transport traffic daily, so come on down here to McConnell's Mill State Park and drive across the bridge and check out this wonderful feat of engineering. What a view. <laughs> So McConnell's Mill State Park has a lot to offer between the mill, the dam, the hiking trails, the waterfalls. There's something a little bit for everybody, not to mention the overall beauty and history of the state park is just amazing. Uh, we came here though to see the covered bridge and we did maybe a little bit of the history of that was unknown to you. Now you know a little bit better. Uh, we're going to head north of here up to New Wilmington to Volant to check out the second of Lawrence County's two covered bridges. That's the Banks covered bridge. It's got a little bit different construction. So let's head on over there. Hey there, it looks a lot different outside and that is because it is almost three months after I filmed at McConnell's Mill Covered Bridge. It is the middle of November. It took me this long to get here to film this because this bridge right here was getting renovated. And once you see the beautiful coat of white paint on this thing, you are going to definitely appreciate it. This is the Banks Covered Bridge. I am in Lawrence County still, but I am south of Wilmington and Volant in a place called Neshanic Falls in Wilmington Township. The Banks Covered Bridge was built in 1889. It is 100 years older than me. It is 121 feet long and it spans the Neshanic Creek. The bridge has a clearance of 8 foot 9 inches and can hold 12 tons. This bridge uses the Burr Arch Truss System. You can see here that there are stone foundations and steel beams that support this bridge. And on the inside, you can see the burr arch and the multiple king posts. I'm gonna head up there right now and check this thing out.
Thanks for coming with me to see a couple more unknown locations in Lawrence County. These two bridges still see vehicular and foot traffic daily, and with the recent renovations they have received, hopefully they'll be doing that for many more years to come. Please get to Lawrence County and check these two bridges out. They're amazing. Thanks again. Please subscribe.